that was a lot of fun. I'm glad that I had a such a production number for the first experience of tasting a pop up. It's good though. Uh, less, less sweet. Mm -hmm. Much less sweet, but still custardy. I, I think I like that one better so far. Mmm. This is a lot less stringy. I see this one is a big improvement. This one's much brighter, like papaya flavor a little bit. starchy for me. Not a fan. Oh, I kind of like that one. That tastes like a little more citrusy. That's good. That one's even milder and even creamier. <laughs> so that's probably, this one's like most banana flavored and very creamy. Definitely has a banana, banana taste. It's delicate, I think. It doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. That one's a very papaya flavor and like more texture and bite. That one's kind of good too. It's got like a little bit of a, almost like a tang to it. <laughs> scale but they're all good <laughs> tastes a little bit like a, like a papaya I think no, that that taste is very familiar okay so very green it gives me plant vibes like I'm eating a leafy green I I liked it more than I thought I was going to like it um, because I am a consistency person and so I saw that they were very squishy and I wasn't sure I was going to like them. But I do. It's, it's very custardy. I think my favorite ones were the Pennsylvania Golden and the Shenandoah. Um, I think I like the Golden maybe the best. It was kind of a mild sweet flavor. Um, not too stringy. Susquehanna giving it stink eye. In my opinion, uh, the Susquehanna and the Allegheny I enjoyed the most. They seem very starchy, which I was, I'm surprised about. I'd probably still go for like the Susquehanna or the Allegheny just because I kind of like the more mango flavor the most. Absolutely, I would recommend it and I think uh, since it's a, it's it's so funny that it's a fruit that grows right here where we live, and yet I haven't tried it. So it's cool to get something off the beaten path that's right in your own backyard. Mm -hmm. 